Hey everybody, it's Justice for Comics. It is time to review new comic book day. Um, the list came out very late yesterday from Midtown. I didn't get a chance to do this video, so it's a little late. Uh, should it, usually I get these done on a Wednesday afternoon, but uh, it's now Thursday afternoon, so let's jump into it here with uh, books that are coming out next Wednesday. We're going to use Midtown to highlight this. So let's go ahead and jump in and look at the first uh, set of books here. We'll start off with Dark Horse. Zoom in here a little bit. All right. Um, not much coming out next week from Dark Horse. Not really collecting much from Dark Horse these days. So there's just a few floppies coming out. You've got The Groom Meets Tarzan, number four. Uh, Neil Gaiman, Norse Mythology, volume two, number six. A and B cover. Uh, I do like that Mac cover. David Mack is always a good artist. I like that. Very cool. And then Savage Hearts number five. Um, not really into that series either. So let's move on to DC. Couple books coming out. Um, Batman Secret Files, The Gardener number one. I do have that incentive cover by Christian Ward coming from Things from Another World. Uh, I don't know. Could be interesting. It's a nice cover. I don't know if there'll be any appearances or anything special or key to the book, but um, I like the cover enough, so that was one of the reasons I grabbed it. Let's move down the list here. Uh, Batman number 117. You got the Jimenez cover. You've also got the B cover by Molina. That one's pretty nice. And then the C cover retro gamer card uh, cover by Rose Besh. I believe I had that um, pulled as well from Things from Another World. I uh, see that they're asking about ratio, $27. I think it's a one in 25. Uh, moving on down the list here, still with DC. Uh, let's see here. Uh, DC Horror Soul, Soul Plumber number one, second printing. Green Lantern number eight. Uh, is that is the A and B cover the same? It looks like it looks like that's the same cover. I don't know. I don't know if that's a mistake there by Midtown or what. Um, Justice League number sixty nine. Lozano cover looks decent. Uh, Legends of the Dark Knight number seven. Uh, there is the incentive cover by Fornes. Interesting. Yeah, I don't I don't have too much coming next week from, from DC. Nice House in the Lake number six. I pre-order those all in advance, A and B covers. It's been a good series, good writing on that one. Um what else? Nubia and the Amazons number two. Refrigerator full of heads. Is it wasn't it bag full of heads? I don't know. We're now they've now graduated to the refrigerator. <laughs> that's uh that's a cool cover. By Terrell, very cool. Suicide King or Suicide Squad King Shark number three. Yeah, I dig this Matina cover. That's one I pre-ordered. I like Matina as an artist, anyways, and that one just looked like a must buy. Notice no discount from Midtown on that one. Pretty sure they, that will sell pretty well. Uh, Superman, Son of Kal-El, number five. Yeah, I mean, this is controversy, I know. The Son of Superman basically is in a relationship there with pink-haired boy. There you go. Uh, you know, hey, we're representing it all, all backgrounds, I guess. And here's the C cover as well. So you know, it's I'm sure DC is taking a lot of flack. Um, a lot of people are not particularly happy with uh, with DC. DC has definitely become far more woke in the last few years than I've ever seen them. More so th than Marvel, which Marvel usually is the the you know of the two big companies. Marvel's usually the one that uh, I would easily 
say is the more woke company, but I think lately DC is supplanting them in that uh, in that role. Army of Darkness, number three, 1979, number three. It's a cool Stuart Sager cover. I like that, black and white. That's pretty cool. Matina cover is obviously pretty nice as well. Uh, you got the homage to the Turtles cover. Uh, yeah, I don't pick up a lot of these books. I mean, once in a while, if there's a really good cover, I'll grab one. F totally for the cover buy. There's some. There's always some nice covers. The Perio cover is pretty nice. Turn for Blood, number two. That one's nice. Purgatory Metal Premium cover is sold out for ninety bucks. All right, let's get on with it here. I think we're almost done with Dynamite. Another Turtle homage, homage. Yeah, Red Sonia. Uh, there's a David Finch special metal co cover. I'm sure Finch fans would love that. Ninety dollars. Hmm. Perio. Sheena, Queen of the Jungle, number one, the limited edition Rose Besh Virgin cover that is sold out for forty five dollars. That one, a lot of people like that cover. I've uh, at least I've noticed there's been a lot of comments about that cover. All right, moving down the list. Vampirilla Holiday Special, a bunch of covers there. Uh, looks like the signed photo, cosplay photo cover is sold out. All right. Um, Looks like those two are sold out. Those are looks like those are very limited. Probably only had one of those available. That's probably why they're sold out. IDW Punish, uh, Publishing. Anything there? Let me see. <laughs> Star Wars. Oh boy. Uh, Usagi Yojimbo. I've been collecting just the incentive covers of the regular Usagi Yojimbo. Those have been pretty hot books for the most part. And they, they highlight some pretty good artists here and there. So, yeah, I've been picking those up. Moving on to Image Comics. King Spawn number four, the Sean Alexander cover. That one looks pretty cool. You also have got a Javier Fernandez cover, B cover. That one looks nice as well. I like that one a lot as well. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to pick up at least the first five issues of King Spawn. I don't know if I'll continue with it. I've read the first issue. I'm a little bit behind in my reading. Primordial number three. First, I read the first two issues. I liked it. I thought it was a good book. Um, yeah, I like Jeff Lemire's art, uh, writing, rather. And Serotina's art is really good, too. So it's a good series. I like it so far. Plenty of covers there. Pick the one that you like. Uh, this Yuko Shimizu cover looks pretty cool. Kind of dig that. I like that cover. Very cool. All right. Um, what else from Image? I think that's it. All right. Moving on to Marvel. Peach Momoko cover there for ASM 78. Black Panther Legends number two. And let's see. Dark Ages number three. I do dig this. Okazaki cover. Takashi. Uh, he's, uh, so what, last week I did the Hot 10 list, and one of the books that he did the cover for was on there, the Werewolf by Night number one, one in 50 uh, variant. That was a Takashi Okazaki cover. Uh, I'm probably not getting that last name right, but yeah, just very cool style. Um, pretty recognizable right away. Usually when I see his art, I'm like, yeah, yeah, it looks like Takashi's artwork there. So that one could be a good book to pick up. And it's not an incentive. You don't got to pay a lot of money for it, which is good. All right. Um, you've got a Fantastic Four anniversary tribute in a one-shot McNiven cover. And you got another one by... 
Jim Chung. That one looks pretty cool. You got a Mark Brooks, which looks to be sold out. Ah, uh, man, what's, what else is coming? Uh, let me just breeze through here. Moon Knight number five is coming out next week. Pretty much just buying all the A covers. I do like this B cover, though, as well. I think I would grab that one, too. And there is an incentive cover by Art, Art Adams. Um, I think it's okay. I don't, I don't think it was that great, but I know there's a lot of Art Adams fans out there, so that might be one to look at if you're into his artwork. Shang-Chi, Spider-Woman. Um, Ultimate Fallout, number four, facsimile edition for 80 bucks, <laughs> graded. Yeah, next thing you know, that'll be a $100 book, and it's a reprint. Won't surprise me at all. All right, that's it for Marvel. Moving on to Independence. I think next week is a big week for Boom Studios. Almost American number three. That first issue was really good. I liked it. Um, I thought it was a good read. Uh, let's see here. I dig that cover. That's kind of an old throwback cover. Robert Hack cover. That's pretty cool. Blade Runner Origins, number eight. All right, let's move down here. Uh, new number one from Red 5 Comics, Carriers, number one. I don't know much about it. Um, Red 5 typically has very, very low print runs, so... Could be some short-term spec in that, possibly. Just depends. Chicken Devil number two, just the one cover. I know that first issue had a little bit of heat on the incentive cover. I think there were people chasing that on eBay for a week or so. Eat the Rich number four. This has been a good series uh, by Boom Studios. Uh, I've enjoyed reading it so far. Um, I'm probably gonna at least buy the first five issues. Pretty much going with just a cover. Um, I may have I may have pre-ordered this uh, incentive cover. That's a one in twenty-five incentive cover. It's pretty creepy, very creepy. <laughs> so uh, you know, I don't know. People are see, people seem to like that book so far. Uh, let's see here, God Killer Spiderland. I don't know anything about that. Bunch of different covers. You got, uh, I'm sure this book might be hot, Grim Fairy Tales. This is a Ivan Tao cover. Uh, a lot of people like his art. That one's pretty cool. I like that. Hard Case Crime Gun, Gun Honey, number two, the second printing. Metallic Ink cover. Surprised that's not sold out. You got the regular issue number three out as well, A and B cover, C cover. D cover as a photo cover. Uh, you also have the Anacleto Virgin cover. Surprised that's not sold out. Huh. Like the I read the first first two issues. I liked it. I thought it was a good series. Good writing. He who fights with monsters number three. Couple cool looking covers there. Uh, man, this one's pretty cool. Oh, it's pretty creepy. There is the black and white incentive cover by De Eldra. He does a lot of art for Something is Killing the Children. All right. Uh, House of Slaughter number one. The Virgin variant cover. This is a one in 1,000 uh, cover for House of Slaughter. I'm surprised this is not sold out. Um, if you go on eBay right now, there's only four listings, and I think the lowest priced listing is around $1,200. So um, for a while there, a lot of sales were in the eight to $1,000 range. Back in August, there were two or three sales at only $600 plus shipping. So 
That's the lowest price I've seen this book sell for is about 600 bucks. So you're just a little over that. You're about $165 over that price. Uh, it's tempting. Uh, it's a nice looking cover. Um, I don't know. I, I don't think that this new series by James Tenyon is going to take off as well as Something is Killing the Children. There's just too much hype on it. Too many people know about it. You know, there were a lot of shops that ordered extremely heavy on this. So that's one of the reasons I think this hasn't sold out yet. I mean, this is a day later after release and it's still available. So, um, yeah, I just think that there's just too many, too many covers, too many people ordering heavy on that first issue. You know, when you get, maybe when you get to issue three or four, you'll see a big drop off in orders and then those incentive covers could have some value to them especially if there's any first appearances or something like that thrown in there. Uh, it is a cool cover by Delato. I like Delato's art quite a bit. Uh, it is a cool looking cover, but man, it's a lot of money for a brand new book. Um, yeah, I mean, I gotta imagine there's not that many of those out there, but still, how many shops ordered a thousand? Between all the incentive covers, you've got three A, B, and C cover, you've got an FOC cover. I mean, there's a lot of books that a lot of shops are or, or are potentially ordering on that first issue because they know it's going to be a big seller. So uh, I do think in the next, by the weekend, this probably will be sold out on Midtown. Somebody's going to scoop it up. Um, that is below ratio, quite a bit below ratio. Um, but again, the lowest price I've seen this sell for is $600. So I, I don't know of anybody that's bought it for less than that. If anybody has, let me know that in the comments. Uh, but you got your FOC covers. You got second printings here by Mercado. Uh, J. Lee cover. There's this incentive blood red foil thank you variant that is sold out now on Midtown. So very interesting. All right, what else? Independent wise. Maw number three. The first issue was a pretty good read. Uh, not all robots number four. I've been reading that. It's been pretty good. I've I've, li I've enjoyed that series so far. Uh, Power Rangers. Radio Apocalypse number one. Don't know anything about that. It's a Vault Comics. That may be worth breezing. You know, breezing through it when you're visiting the LCS. I do like that um, incentive cover. That one's pretty cool. Digging that. I like that look, the look of that cover. Got a David Mack cover, Virgin Foil David Mack cover. Interesting. Man, 100 bucks, $108. Wow. It's a pretty cool cover, though. It's beautifully done. Space Bastards, number nine. <laughs> I like the cover. I like the title of that. Uh, let's see here. Watch Dogs Legion. I think we're getting near the end. Exo Man of War. That's it. All right, guys, that's what I had for you. Those are your books coming out next Wednesday, November 16th. Uh, there won't be a whiskey, cigar, and comic show this week. I am going to be, uh, my wife is taking me to a comedy event. We're going to go see, um, what's his name, Larry the Cable Guy. Uh, we're going to see him at the Hard Rock casino here in Tampa um, so we're going to go see that tonight so that's that's going to uh, interfere with my show typically so there won't be a whiskey cigar and comic show this week stay tuned uh, for next week we will have we will resume normal broadcast next Thursday hope everyone has a great uh, rest of the week and I'll see you guys soon